and welcome. This is Melissa Armour with Stock Swishing and Reviewing Shake Shack. <laughs> this was really a, a, a very nice option move. Um, we had the day trade, but really this was a very nice move. Boom, boom, boom. Down with the options. Called a few options in this. Again, I think Friday was a good exit or even today. <laughs> I mean, there would have been no reason to even look to exit this really until until today unless you wanted to get out like I said into the weekend but this is a really nice chart and so here's overall Shake Shack gap down here in the earnings fell beautiful call and some people didn't do it in the letter because it rallied but it was a short fell 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 one two three four five days down every trade I caught in this worked for the options I think we did the one stop and then retook it for the day trade um, I have to go back and look at that but I think that's what happened with this one but I held the conviction stayed with the conviction love the move love the gap loved it was short okay and again I don't know where this goes from here I still think this could be lower but I think today or Friday was a nice exit in this again it goes back to the conviction the conviction helps you because here on this day I mean some people will email me they're like gosh gosh I didn't do it I didn't do it and I'm going to show you this here. No, I got to show this. This. This is what set some people off. But again, if you're on the letter, you got to do the trades. This. But it was a short. It was a short. So anyways, rallying, set up, dropped. But traders were buying this in here and buying this in here and even buying this in here and even buying this in here. Looks like people were even buying this in here, but it was a short. Really nice call. The bias was always for me to the downside. You can see here now how this followed through. This was a major move. Huge, 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 huge move. In fact, I was trying to look for... Uh, strikes at closer expiration dates and at the time on the day that I just couldn't even they didn't even exist um, so I called the ones that I could but everything in this worked here is what this did you can see here the follow-through this was a beautiful beautiful institutional move again seventh eighth eighth down 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 that was on the seventh I'm trying to squish it so you can see all of it here this is a one minute chart so yeah, it's dropping and it's dropping and the utter weakness in this. It's so important to follow what's happening with the institutional moves. And if you don't know what that is, it's a reason to take my class and learn it. And there were traders that bought this on the day, on the day of their earnings. They bought in the gap down when it rallied above the 200 period moving average and it was a short. Here it is on the Friday and the Friday week, 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 week. Continues down. Boom, boom. Boom, boom, look, boom. Look at this, I'm trying to squeeze it all in and see if I can get all through today from the fifth on the one minute. I don't know if it's gonna go too far. Let's see, I'm squeezing it. I tried it and ran it today. And then I will look at what today's low was. No, we're not gonna make it, it's gonna go over. No, but you get the point. I think I've made my point. By golly. 6090. 61 dream target. 60 and change. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful move in Shake Shack. So nice one here. Another good short. Okay. And again, puts, shorts, whatever. It all worked. It was looking at the gap, rating the gap, having a conviction. Some people didn't do this trade, they missed out. A lot of people did though, but some people emailed me and said, ah, oh, I should have did it. But you know, when you see something drop every day and then I call the trade in the day of, you gotta do it when the price is right. We'll see what we get this week. Looking forward to a strong November and a strong close to 2019. If you're interested in signing up for the Gap Options newsletter, email me at melissathestocksquish.com. And if you're interested in signing up for the Golden Gap course, only two more classes this year. One this weekend, November 16th and 17th, and one in December, and that's it. And taking a break for the holiday. Have a great, great, great night, everyone.